What up in this is John Shibor, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, I know you guys don't really know me for, you know, track reviews. Today, I've always told my boy Husky that if he ever comes out with tracks, I would always cover it for him. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. He did make Under Pine MX. We did do that track review for him. Shout out to the homie. Uh, he's just been here since I've like had only 500 subs. So always gotta support the homies from when like, I literally come from the ground up. So he done under, under Pine and today we're gonna be doing Sandland and we're just gonna talk about the track. Um, so far, I will always say it and I will forever say it. I think sand literally is how you get faster in this game. Um, it, it, it counts for you to try to take the faster lines and you have to if you wanna keep up momentum. So let's go and get right into it. All right. so. As you can hear, it's like little sand textures, and yeah, we're just gonna be ripping. Probably make this a good 10 to 12 minute video, but I don't think the track's very big from what I've seen. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna pick up, up some lines and talk about the homie and I guess life, man. I don't know. Like, very, I'm very happy that he's continuously putting out content like this because uh, I gotta say, man, like Under Pine was such like an underrated track for him to first start out with, and I've had so many great reviews from my friends saying that the track was great. So it's like, I'm so glad within like weeks to come, he came out with another banger. And for it to be sand, that's huge. And I feel like this could definitely be a 125 track, more of a 125 track than a 250 or so, just cause of like the scaling and how, I guess how short it is. But um, I'm very excited to see this track kind of get some really good love, I should say, cause I'm gonna definitely be running this track for an elimination race and maybe some other stuff like multiple times on my Deddy. Um, this track is just fun to like literally get the groove in, especially I, it looks very, very uh, kind of user friendly to anybody that's new to MX bikes. And I do apologize that I don't have my camera on. It's like nine in the morning, seven in the morning, actually. So, yeah. Um, that being said, this this track is absolutely amazing so far. I'm just going to try to find a good groove. I think I did put down one lap just to see if I can uh, literally kind of get the flow of it just a little bit. That way I don't look like hot bunzo, garbaggio. So we're going to be uh, working against our ghost here. But like I said, I, I just ran a, one, a 47. So it doesn't look like it's a very long track, but I did find that line right there, which is really cool. And it keeps up a lot of momentum. So yeah, I'm on the Kawasaki 250. Hope you guys hit that like button, subscribe button if you guys are still here so far. And I'm going to be ripping and gripping. Thank you guys for 3,600 subs. Pushing the 3700, man. I can't thank you guys enough for the uh, support. And yeah, man, we just been grinding out, dude. I, Husky literally drops up another banger. I think I'm gonna start doing a little bit of track reviews. Not a lot. Um, I don't really like doing track reviews a lot because I just I just feel like it's not my stigma. It's not my it's not my thing. <laughs> uh, I like I like the more in depth of riding with the homies, riding with the community, and doing stuff like that. I feel like it's a little bit more fun for me. Um, I hate that when people like kind of come come out and be like, oh, well, there's no, you know, there's no good content, like stale, content stale right now because there's no tracks out. Like I think like MX Bikes is more than just track reviews. So, but I'll definitely do it for the homies. Um, super excited for what's to come in these upcoming weeks. But that's actually a pretty good line. But so far the track runs pretty, pretty smooth. I think it's a lot of ins and outs depending on, on what you're riding. Like a 450 might be overkill, but at the same time, you can honestly rip. Four. If I'm ripping a 250 on here, you can definitely go crazy on a 450. But I think a 125 would be like, like, no, ideal. But down, yeah, there we go. But I love this Kawasaki, man. If you guys have not checked out this Kawasaki setup and you guys are enjoying how I'm ripping on it, definitely give it a go. Oh no, try to hit that line. Well, I did land it, but I didn't hit it perfectly. I yeah, scrub too much. Yeah, definitely give that video a look. Uh, I have my outdoor and indoor setups. So far, I can't say that this track is not a beast. Okay, I think that's a transfer line. If you can hit that inside pretty good, that's a good transfer line. And then you possibly could save a lot of time going railing the outside, but I don't know yet. As we go, we'll, we'll see if we can drop even more than a, a 45. Not getting any front tucks, how about that? A little active here. But it looks like you can literally get on here and work on your sand technique. I think that's the biggest thing is uh, working on sand technique. Like I said before, like in the beginning, you know, it's it's, it's literally all about hitting your marks and lines because that's what's going to keep you going fast in, in sand, you know? Like, it's all about momentum. So if you can find your fastest lines, then momentum's going to stay up for you for sure. Let's see if we can rail the outside. I don't want to... And hit the transfer. Yeah, that was... 
almost almost got that okay well i have the right mindset so we'll come back around for that we'll rail the outside and then try to hit that transfer and i think this middle rut instead of the in, inside rut will be great and then i think that would be cool because you also want to cut down on this you don't want to eat up the rest of that track on the outside but it's perfectly scaled perfectly good ruts um i, I can't say it's not Ooh, maybe the outside to the inside right there still take this outside like i do want to cut down but you see you can see the ruts forming to where it's not going to give you that good boost on that but i think that's the line right there i'll definitely try the other line just to show you guys i think both are viable but i do want to get this one I do want to conquer this there we go oh no dang it and sorry if I'm not giving too much enthusiasm right now. It is, like I said, early. And I don't really do much track reviews. And I'm sorry if this is kind of just stale content for you. But hey, man, this track is actually a banger. I'm glad I'm like actually doing it. I feel like I should be doing more track reviews these days. But it's just it's not my bread and butter, dude. And we'll, we'll take this middle one again. Because this is what I think what I can connect into this. And you can see right now I'm beating my ghost within that. I'll, I'll stay on the outside, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's that's chicken noodle that's chicken noodle and we're just staying fourth dude i think a 125 is gonna be sick on this one dude i'm actually very tempted later down the road and a cut down not the best cut down that's what i gotta work on i feel like it's a very a very um you can hit the line if you're perfect on it but if you're not perfect on it it's kind of like a like a loss you know a loss gainer dope though like i literally could spend this for like a good amount of time like it's making me want to drive to do <laughs> a little bit better like especially in that one line i'm gonna go ahead and take this middle line right here but down again i feel like that could even be faster than what i was hitting and then let's go inside here go inside i take this one see what's this about probably oh it's probably a cross cross so you can either do cross cross and and that one might even be faster if you stay inside you do cross cross and then come in the inside i don't know like how rough that is but possibility all right i want to try to hit this again dude i want to be clean you know slow down just a little bit to go fast easy peasy all right bad landing though bad bad land but there we go i'm liking it don't have to eat up all the rest of this track on the outside no point to even show you you know no point to even show how it looks out there easy peasy dude Take this middle, and then we can cut down. Oh, I feel like my ghost just beat me up. <laughs> I feel like my ghost just, just literally waxed the crap out of me. I do want to take this inside again, because I want to see if I can hit that second transfer. So I think this this section is really cool. Oh, that's super sick. But I think it's a bad turn. So I think the the outside, I mean, the inside to the outside on the other one is better, because you, you, you already are setting up for a good turn, and you're keeping a lot of momentum. That way, that one right there, you just got to slow down a lot. I really want to conquer that before the end of this video. I do want to conquer that. But I just got to say, Sandland, so far, the aspect of it, it looks like Ohio to me. I don't know if anybody's from Ohio, but this looks like a a nice place, like a like a forest-type Ohio to me. So if anybody if anybody can picture that, that's what exactly this place looks like. Um, Yeah, I, I like it a lot. This is this is sick. It like kind of literally reminds me of home Um, a good amount. <clears throat> Excuse me. But... Let's let's take this 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 line to the other line because this is way faster, way faster. Because look how much more you literally you're, you're eating up a little bit more track, but you're keeping a lot more more traction and speed. Can we hit this? Oh my god! Can we hit this? Come on, please. All right, I'll take that. Whatever. Also, I am running a medium 90 and a medium 100 on the back. 14. 0.1 psi like i said the video if you guys want to watch the video on the setup is my kawasaki setup there we go come on show me something baby yeah shout out to husky though nor oh, you guys know him as nori name's nori but uh, i know him as husky and yeah husky i gotta say man if you if you watch this whole video dude i do appreciate you man i do appreciate you even wanting continuously sending me test test setups for all this because like i have checked it out and it's like man i i the finishing touches on this track to know that like what it looked like when you first started to now is insane so i gotta i gotta thank you a lot for like even sending me stuff early 
but I think that's a super cool. Okay, that is the line for sure. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I gotta thank you a lot for just sending me stuff super early and just letting me test it out. And also shout out to any other contract com creator um, as, as that continuously goes on. Like shout out to Baked. Uh, Baked sends me stuff as well. So huge, huge to always help out the homies that wanna do stuff for like like that. So, and I know I'm not huge on track, on track, you know, reviews. So I know it's hard to like be like, oh, well, I don't know if, I don't know if like I'm the right person to send it to because like I won't do it. But I mean, those homies literally stick around for me. So why won't I stick around for them? So I appreciate that. PAM. Oh, this track W man. I don't know how much more you guys need to see, but I think this is a 24 gate. I would believe so. Get your tickets in. I mean, that wasn't bad actually either. Not even cutting down. I think the I think the OP line, if you want to show off to your friends, would be that line. But cutting down like that was actually great. Use this line. Eat this all up. Out of my ghost. But with that being said, it must be. What do we run? A 44? I'll take a 44. I feel like I even got more time to shave down. I even got more time. Let's do another one. Let's do another one because I want to. Because I'm a, I'm a beast. I'm a savage. I wasn't even running my actual line here. Look, look, I'm still on him. By using that line, I've actually already gained up on him. That is so insane. Gotta love it. I gotta love sand, dude. I want to hit that line so bad. <laughs> I want to hit that line so bad. Oh, I feel like it's such a skill gap, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you guys so much for the support. This is absolutely crazy. If you guys enjoy this, this link will be down in the description below. This is Sandland by Nori. Shout out to my boy Husky once again. Definitely be on the lookout. This is his second track ever. Second track ever made, you know, so I gotta I gotta give it to him hands down that he's created two really great ones And I feel like the scaling's perfect for races 125s anything you want to kind of put in conclusion right, That second rut to this rut would actually be great. I gotta remember that second rut to this rut To the outside Already beating him just by doing that so actually I cleaned up that now. Let's go for the transfer I don't want to end this video unless I really hit this transfer pretty good and I did let's go Let's go. I'll take that. Finish strong. Drop this thing down to like a 43. I'll take even a low 44. What was that? 44.2. I'll take that. So I, I feel like I have a 40, 43 in me if I if I find my right lines, but. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate you guys so much. And it's just great support, man. You guys are awesome. So I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy IBS Kelso. Pop, 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 p